Hello and welcome back to my humble shed. I have decided to start working on something I saw on YouTube. And I have decided to go for something a little more peaceful and calm. No more heating stuff and hitting things and safety equipment everywhere. Something a bit more relaxing. I hope you still enjoy the video. So, what is it that I'm going to make? Well, I've seen this thing on YouTube. This, this guy, Dave Wilson, from the channel Celtic Dreams, made this lovely full Persian 6-in-1 chainmail bracelet. A link to the video will be down in the description. And I thought it looked really, really amazing. And it's not that difficult to make. So, I'm going to give it a go. I bought myself this roll of galvanized steel wire. Looks a bit like silver wire, but it's not that expensive. And I'm first going to make myself some rings from it. How I'm going to make those rings? Well, I've got a drill in the vise. I'm going to run this wire around this 7mm drill bit. Why 7mm? Well, because this wire is 1.2mm in diameter. So, that means that if I run it around this drill bit, that would give me an aspect ratio of around 5.8. What is aspect ratio? Well, I'm glad you ask. That is the diameter of your mandrel or drill bit in this case, divided by the thickness of your wire and that gives you just an idea of how a ring should behave. Well, I don't really know what it is either, that's just what that Dave Wilson on his YouTube channel told me. So yeah, let's get into it! That's my cat meowing its lungs out. What's the matter with you? Hey, this is like a wagon. Come. Just wanted some attention. There we go, we have ourselves a bunch of rings. And I'm going to repeat this process for a couple more times because this won't make a bracelet. This might make just a centimeter of it maybe. Honestly Garfield, what's the matter with you? my shed. This is where I make all this interesting stuff. I want to have a look. It's nice and warm in here. You can stay here if you want. I think I will. Or you can just bugger off. It's also an option. Okay, you can go. Cats are weird. Well, I think that will work. Let's get this thing started, shall we? While I'm doing this, I'm going to be watching the tutorial. So...
So, quick update. If this needs to fit around my wrist, we are around halfway there. So let's get going again. I'll see you once again in a bit. And there we go. We've got ourselves a little bracelet, which fits just about around my wrist. So let's make a little closure for it. Dave Wilson also shows this in his video. Here it is. This is the little chain I made. And I think it looks quite alright. And as you can see, you can hook it on. And there we go. We've got a little chain, a lovely little bracelet. Yeah, I think it looks quite alright. But I'm afraid that will be it for this video. I actually made three more chains, but I just edited the video and the footage of these three chains somehow vanished. No clue how it happened, but I'm afraid it did. It's a bit of a shame, really. These turned out to be really nice. I first made this Byzantine chain. It's a bit of a variation on the Persian one, which is a bit less monotone and has like these different parts to it, which I think looks pretty good. Secondly, I made this one, this big ass chain. It's one I designed myself. It's basically two Byzantine chains linked together with a couple of rings and it gives this big clunky and very not very flexible bracelet which does still fit around my wrist but I think it looks quite good. And lastly I made this thing. It's basically the same as the previous one but, but instead of Byzantine chains I used two simple two in two chains which makes it a lot more flexible. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame I lost the footage, but well, nothing to do about it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that big red button down there. And I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.